Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad, and we have a great show planned for you today. To start it off, we have Chloe Live with Surf and Grayson Live with Theater. Izzy, what else do we have? That's right. We also have Ella on Dejero and Alessia on the Magic Window. That sounds like a great show, so let's get it started. I'm Robbie Rains. And I'm Isabel Hollingsworth. And CHSTV starts right now. To start it off, we have Tristan's story on Day of the Dead. Let's roll the piece. I'm here at the 22nd annual Dia de los Muertos Festival in downtown Oceanside. This festival happens once a year, and there are many fun things you can find here, all of which are related to Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos, otherwise known as Day of the Dead, is a celebration of life and a celebration of the people that we have lost. People celebrate this day in many different ways, but one of the main ways that people celebrate this day is by setting up altars for the loved ones that we have lost. Many people come out to celebrate this day, but there are some people that are taking it a step further for our community. Hi, my name is Edward Becerra, and my, the name of my program is Education Begins in the Home. Unlike most people at this event, Edward strives to help a greater cause. I'm providing free books to, the, to our families here in North County, San Diego. I started this program in May of 2015, and since then I've uh, provided over 222,000 plus free books. Although Edward is taking our community a step forward, there are also some other important people at this event. Well, as part of the library, we like to be part of the community, so events, are, people invite us here to be here. So we like to be here to represent the library, um, to promote different events and programs that the library is having with people. Just like the library, other organizations are helping too. My name is Kenneth Pilko, and I'm a promotor with Miracosta's HSI, which is Hispanic Serving Institution. We have a large Latino population at Miracosta, and we receive $3 million to do outreach um, to make sure that Latino students are succeeding. Many people showed up to support Dia de los Muertos in this event, and it really shows our support for each other and our community. From Oceanside, California, for CHS-TV, I'm Tristan Thornton. Welcome back. Wrestling season is about to start. Any students that would like to come out for boys or girls wrestling should stop by for a short informational meeting this Thursday at lunch in the wrestling area above the boys' locker room. Carlsbad High School will be hosting Granite Hills in the semifinals of the Open Division playoffs on Thursday, November 9th. Game time is 7 o'clock and tickets can be purchased through GoFan.co. Only CIF passes will be accepted at the gate. For our first breaking announcements, we're going to send it over to Chloe, live with Sir. Chloe? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Chloe Sunseth here live in the studio with Surf Team. So I heard you guys have an upcoming contest. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, the contest is uh, this Sunday at Pano, and everyone can come down and watch. All right, and what do you guys do to prepare for these contests? Yeah, we practice every Thursday at Tammy and just get after it. All right, and do you have any personal goals for the end of the season? Yeah, so coming on uh, the Surf Team as a freshman, it's really hard, and you kind of in the minority, but... Uh, I'm just trying to work my way up, get number one overall in the season, and hopefully make the WSL in a couple of, couple years. All right, any shout outs? Uh, um, Don Marquez, uh, period one, Avalos Long. Coach Coop, period four. L. Robinson and Sloan Dawson, period one, Spanish. All right, good luck to you guys, and I'm going to send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Chloe. Loud Crowd themed playoff shirts are now available for sale at the student store. Come get your shirt for our home playoff games. Shirts are $15, so make sure you get them before they sell out. Students, are you interested in enticing change specifically in regards to gun violence? On Tuesday, November 7th, there will be a Student Demand Action Club meeting at lunch in Ms. Hatchkin's room at 8201. Show up and show out. Next up, we're going to have Grayson live with Theater. What's up, Grayson? Good morning, Carl. I'm here live in the studio with Theater. So I heard you guys have a play coming up. Could you tell me a little bit about that? 
Yeah, the play is called Puffs. It's about a boy's and his friend's journeys through a certain school of magic and magic. That sounds awesome. So when and where can we see your guys' performance? Yeah, so the shows are this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 o'clock at the CAC. Cool, and uh, how much are the tickets? Where can we buy them? Uh, so yeah, tickets are going to be $10, and uh, you can find the link on the Carlsbad High School's uh, theater Instagram account. Sounds amazing. Any shout-outs, guys? Uh, Mr. Trussell, period two, and the three other students in his class. Shout-out Apes, period one. Uh, shout-out Mick Shuck, period four. Awesome, Carlsbad. Make sure to show up and show support. Thank you, Grayson. To repeat that, the play Puffs will be performed in the CAC on November 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Tickets are $10 and can be purchased using a QR code found around campus. Final preparations for the class of 2024 senior trip to Disneyland are underway. If you are planning to attend, please stop by the student store to secure your ticket. Once the final order is placed, then tickets will become limited, so make sure to secure yours now. Now we have Peyton live with Daybreak Club. What's up, Peyton? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with Adam and Johnny from Daybreak Club. So, Johnny, for people who are interested in joining Daybreak Club, where do you guys meet and what can they expect? Yeah, we meet in room 8204 every Thursday during lunch. And then just some things you can expect is that we have guest speakers, some food, and it's just a great place to be. Yeah, that's awesome. And Adam, what is your favorite part about Daybreak Club? My favorite part about Daybreak Club is just going, hanging out with a great group of people every week, listening to a great word, and just being in a great environment. Yeah, that's awesome. And do you guys have any upcoming events? And if so, tell us about them. Yeah, at Daybreak next Sunday at 6 o'clock, we have Youth Fest, which is just one of our bigger events, so it'll be great. Yeah, if you guys are interested, make sure you guys come and support. And for people who are nervous to join Daybreak Club, what advice do you have for them? I say just go try it, have fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You'll go, you'll find a great group of people, and you'll probably want to go back. Yeah, that's awesome. And any shout-outs? Uh, yes, I can, period one. Yes, I can, period one. Shout-out Apes, period one. That's awesome, and make sure you guys come to Daybreak Club tomorrow at lunch if you're interested. Thank you, Peyton. Have you purchased your class shirt? If not, come to the student store and purchase yours before they are gone. Sizes are limited, and the price is $20 with ASP sticker and $25 without. Come check out the Penn Spinning Club. It's fun and stress relieving. Join at lunch on Wednesday in room 3205. The Jewish Student Union gets in room 6203 every Thursday at lunch. Text at CBADJSU to 81010 for reminds. Now we have Ella live via DeGero at the student store to talk about our ASB playoff shirts. What do you have for us, Ella? Yes, I am Ella Jacobs live via DeGero here at the student store. As you know, we have our upcoming playoff games here at our home field next week on Thursday, November 9th. And if you're going to these games, please get a ticket because your ASB sticker will not get you in. And if you're going, show some school spirit, get some Lancer wear. And there's absolutely no better place to get Lancer wear than the student store which you can get before school, at break, and at lunch. And just for the upcoming game, they have made this really nice shirt, which is in like the signature Lancer purple color, which looks pretty good. And that is all I have for you today, Lancers. Thank you, Ella. Now we have Alessia on the magic window to talk about Day of the Dead. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Alessia here on the magic window to tell you a little bit about Day of the Dead. So for those of you who didn't know, today, November 1st, is the first of two days of celebrating Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday meant to celebrate and honor your loved ones who have passed away and remember their spirits so they aren't lost. It is very commonly celebrated, as I said, in Mexico, as well as places with Latin American heritage, including here, considering we're so close to Mexico. A very common practice of Day of the Dead is setting up an ofrenda, which is an altar to honor your loved ones. It includes photos of them, marigold flowers, which are also very common in Day of the Dead, um, food, candles, and just items that represent that person. There are many local celebrations going on within the next couple of days, like I said, because there are a lot of people that celebrate Day of the Dead here. So if you're interested in learning more about the culture and the background of the holiday, then showing up to one of those would be great. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Alessia. Now we have a sneak peek at tomorrow's story on JJ. The journey teaches you more than any touchdown ever will. Just mostly, it's not if you get a play or not, it's, uh, it's the stuff you learn during the journey, you feel me? There are moments when he asks himself, do I really want to do this? Thanks, Carl. It's about to have a great day and make sure to tune in tomorrow. Hi. Thank mm -hmm. you.